Welcome back, Jump to the Bridge. And today we're going to be talking about why the Dream SMP is as popular as it is. Alright, all right. if you enjoy this video, uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, follow my Twitter, join my Discord, all these things. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Anyway, here's the video. Hope you enjoy it. Very obviously, you know, it, it didn't actually start like this. It wasn't popular from the get-go. It was actually just supposed to be a way for Dream and his like close friends to have a survival world. It wasn't meant to get this big, but it did. Everything went into motion, actually, when Tommy ended joined the server. He wasn't actually one of the first people on the server, and he actually got added later. He wasn't in the original group there. And from the get-go of him joining, he just immediately caused just a lot of problems. Because that's what he did on SMP Earth, and it kind of worked. Got him a viewer base, so he continued doing it on Dream SMP. Tommy's the one that actually started the tradition of, like, causing problems just all the time. And as Dream added more and more people, these problems got, got bigger and bigger with, you know, more people involved. The more people they added, the more chaotic everything got. And I think to make everything a little bit more, like, streamlined and uh, have, a, have a better viewing experience, they started scripting the larger events. And once they started scripting the events, it, the SMP more turned into, like, like a TV show of some of the biggest creators on their platforms instead of just, you know, an SMP of people playing Minecraft together. It honestly has everything a TV show has. It has talented actors, half-decent writing, and even a, like a, a bunch of fan artists making animations and, and artwork that just bring the whole thing together. I'm, I'm going crazy. Like, everybody's left. The three or four people... Oh my god. I'm not going to say the fans are underappreciated. I mean, like, the, the artists are underappreciated because they aren't. You know, people really, like, appreciate the work they've done. But honestly, I think it helped the, the SMP grow just tremendously. The fact that big events could really get summed up in something that did actually look like a TV show like with saddest stuff. That stuff looks like a, a well-polished animation. It makes it really, really, like, come together as a TV show. And I'm here, I, I'm willing to argue that Dream SMP is actually better than a TV show because of, because of all the multiple POVs it has to offer. Everybody has their story. I know I was talking about main characters in the last, in my last uh, video, but everybody has their own story and is honestly the main character of their own, of their own arc, whatever they plan to do on the SMP. Bro. So you pick your favorite content creator out of the bunch, and everybody probably has their favorites, even though they're all good content creators, and you watch their POV. It kind of goes like this. You already like the content creator for stuff they've done in the past, and then you start watching the Dream SMP role-played character, and then get invested in that too, and that just causes the whole thing. That's how, that's how it really got, got popular. People getting invested. Because investment equals loyal viewership. Once, you, once you're invested in something, you want to know what happens next. You always tune into the plot-related streams at the very least. Because you want to know what happens to the, the guy. What, what happens to Tommy? Does Lamambert get blown up? Who knows? And another thing this brings in is there's always an influx of content on the server. Keeping people there to watch. On a TV show, when it's being aired, you only get like one 20-minute episode a week. But... With the Dream SMP, you have multiple streamers streaming every day for hours on end, and there's just never, never a lack of content to watch. Did I drive this guy crazy? What is he doing? What's he doing? Everybody today's leaving. What's going on with the server? What? All these streams and the amount of content that people watch every day also just gets them even more invested into the characters and what's going on in the story. And it's really just a very well circle they've made up. It's a, it's a cycle. Now, there's, there's a downside to this as well, which is that sometimes there's too much content to keep up with, especially when, when there's a lot, of, a lot of parts of the story that you've gotten invested in and you want to know what happens. Very easy for someone to get overwhelmed by the amount of content that these people put out every day because there's, there's only one of you watching these streams and there's always multiple people streaming on the server doing their own thing. Especially for people like me who actually make their own content off stuff that happens in the server. It just puts a lot of pressure on us, like, knowing what's going on at all the times. And sometimes I don't watch all the POVs. I only usually watch one POV of an event at a time, so when a new character gets added, and he suddenly has a really complex backstory that, that I want to make a video on, and, but I don't know anything about him, not, not referring to anybody here, actually. It just gets complicated. I guess now that I think about it, that's why, that's why Dream SMP Clip channels have also been so successful. They condense the information you need. 
from uh, an event or something that happened in, in like some five minute clip. And you watch that and you know what happened. They get you all the, the juicy entertaining stuff without, without like using up a lot of time going through VODs or watching all the streams because sometimes you can't watch all the streams. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button and the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what video I should do next. I swear, everybody left in this in this video. There was not a single person I played against that didn't just leave. Anyway, if you got this far, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!